Hey guys, so I'm super stoked to introduce you to another guest speaker on my channel called Jonathan White. And in this interview, we talk about sexual energy cultivation, nofab, semen retention, and basically how you can change your relationship to your sexuality, to your sexual energy, and how you can redefine orgasm and arousal. And in the end, we talk about how sex could be if you go more into like those tantric practices with a partner and how sex can evolve from being something very mechanic that we see in porn um, to something more evolved and more kind of deep. So I'm so stoked to introduce you to Jonathan White. Let's go right into it. This is Jonas Herb and in this channel we talk about authenticity and personal growth. We provide tools and ideas that help you gain clarity, freedom and fulfillment in your life. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. So, hi Jonathan, really um, like to welcome you here on my channel. Uh, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, I've been following your stuff for quite a while now and um, it's been really, really uh, eye-opening for me. And especially because I've been looking at a lot of different um, sexual energy cultivation, um, basically ideas. I was following Montag Chia, I was following other people. And so um, when I saw your stuff, I was like, I was really intrigued. And so what I would like to ask you first is like, how did you get into the whole sexual energy work and how, what was your motivation to go into the whole thing? Yeah, uh, first of all, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, so this was about, uh, it was about seven years ago, right? Mm -hmm. I was in my early 20s and I had always been interested in... <clears throat> I guess kind of a deeper aspect of sexuality. You know, I was having, I was going through a bit of a spiritual awakening at the time. I was interested in these Eastern practices. I was studying yoga. I was studying meditation. But for me, it was like sexuality was still like kind of this, this separate thing. And mm -hmm. I heard about Tantra, you know, kind of these spiritual sexual practices, but mm -hmm. it wasn't easy for me to find a lot of information about this. So I kind of went on this journey. You know, I did a lot of research, just kind of seeking out the information. And I ended up finding Montauk Chia's book, multi Man. Mm -hmm. And this book completely changed my life. You know, it was like he talks in the book, talks about basically how for a man, ejaculation and orgasm are two separate processes that can be separated and how mm -hmm. it's not necessarily beneficial for a man to ejaculate every time he has sex and that, you know, you may have mm -hmm. a lot more energy by not doing that. And so that really resonated with me. And I started practicing some of the techniques from the book. And, you know, I had, I had limited success just from working with the book, but it really mm -hmm. planted the seed for me. And that led me to, you know, seek out teachers. I ended up studying with Michael Wynn uh, mm -hmm. in great depth. And he was one of Montauk Chia's early students. And I studied with some other teachers as well and really got me into, you know, the Taoist practices, uh, inter internal energy cultivation, Qigong, meditation, Tai Chi, and of course the sexual practices. And, uh, so that that's kind of how I got started on this stuff. And it was such a such a fulfilling journey for me. It was a very, very mm -hmm. deep transformation, you know, uh, uh, really forming that conscious connection with my sexuality and be able to actually use that energy instead of have it control me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so when you went on to discover all of this, um, what I found and I'm curious about your opinion on that is there's a lot of, of like tantra and things about kind of like sexual energy, but for men to really um, go on their path in terms of like semen retention and all the stuff that's really specific for men, there's not so much um, out there um, as, as just with general tantra and sexual energy in general. What is your experience of that? It's true. I think a lot of the information you find is... Uh, it's pretty surface level. It's a bit superficial, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they talk about chakras, they talk about energy, but like actually having the tangible experience of it is, it's still a bit elusive for a lot of people. You know, it's, yeah. it's a lot of talk, but not a lot of, of actually deep practice for it to, mm -hmm. to actually do that. And that, that's a, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about sharing this work is that, um, again, it took me a long time. I had to, tr you know, travel, study with various teachers to really understand how, how does this actually work and how do you actually do this stuff? And so, mm -hmm. um, that, that's kind of my goal is to make a more practical approach to understand this work and to really uh, uh, go through it in the highest level, I guess. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, so um, for people watching, some might have never heard about semen retention. Uh, could you go a little bit into that? What is semen retention and why should you do that? And uh, so basically a little bit about the philosophy behind it. For sure. So... <clears throat> For a man, it takes a lot of resources for the body to create semen. You know, semen is mm -hmm. this, it's a very refined substance. 
uh, in in Ayurveda, you know, the Indian tradition, they talk about uh, semen being, you know, again, this extremely refined substance that one drop of semen, semen is equal to like, you know, 30 drops of blood or something like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. this is a common theme in a lot of different traditions is that there's this sort of sacred power uh, of semen that shouldn't be wasted. Uh, but of course, here in, in the West, in the modern world, uh, you know, we're conditioned by porn, we're conditioned by, you know, this approach to sexuality where we associate ejaculation with orgasm. Right. And so, it's it's this is a very tangible experience for all men. You know when you're when you're sexually aroused, your your body's flooded with energy. Your your heart rate it, it is increased. Uh, you just feel very alive, very juicy, right? When you're aroused, mm-hmm. and then you, as you're having sex, then you you ejaculate. You have that short lived ejaculatory orgasm, mm-hmm. and then how do you feel after that? You usually feel tired, fatigued. You know your energy just drops off. So it's very obvious that there's a loss of energy here. Mm-hmm. And in Chinese medicine, they say that uh, they talk about Jing. Jing is basically your physical essence. And it's it's uh, connected to the kidneys and the sexual organs, which are connected in Chinese medicine. Mm-hmm. And they say that consistently ejaculating, you're basically depleting your Jing. And if you don't allow yourself mm-hmm. that a period of time to restore this, then you're basically uh, becoming depleted, right? Mm-hmm. And again, we're, there's so much sexual stimulation in this world from media, from porn that uh, most men are ejaculating every day. You know, I certainly was in my teenage years and early twenties, mm-hmm. and this is a pathway to depletion. That's why men are becoming exhausted. They're becoming depleted at earlier and earlier ages. Right. So, mm-hmm. uh, semen retention, uh, my approach to semen retention is not about, you know, it's not a suppression. It's not like, no, you have to stop having sex. You have to, mm-hmm. you know, be a monk and live in a cave and never think about, you know, sexual thoughts. That's not, that's not yeah. the sexual Kung Fu approach. It's about how do I, change my relationship to sexuality from one that's draining me to one that's actually nourishing and fulfilling me that I can cultivate energy, right? Mm-hmm. And so this is, you know, the sexual Kung Fu approach is to be able to separate orgasm from ejaculation. Mm-hmm. And therefore, you don't have that loss of energy uh, from the ejaculation, but you're still able to, you know, be as sexually active as you want and experience mm-hmm. orgasm. So um Again, when, when you approach it in this way, it's not it's not a, a suppression and it's a very enjoyable thing and you you end up having a lot more energy. When you stop this leak, basically, of consistently mm-hmm. ejaculating, you have much more energy, your immune system improves because the body's no longer like putting all of its resources into constantly creating semen, which takes a lot of energy. So mm-hmm. uh, a lot of men report feeling increased confidence, you know, more motivation. Uh, you become more masculine. Your testosterone levels actually increase when you retain your semen. Now, what this looks like, uh, when I say semen retention, I'm not saying you need to go the rest of your life without ejaculating. You know, that's Mm -hmm. just not realistic for most people. Even starting with like a few days is going to be a big change for most guys. And you can, you know, try going a week, then try going two weeks and try going a month, you know? So Mm -hmm. it's really about setting realistic goals and just, just try it. You know, if you've never gone five days without ejaculating, you might be surprised at the changes uh, that happen when you do this. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the first time that I really started um, to basically do semen retention and not ejaculate, the amount of energy that I got was just so, it was so intense and was so overwhelming. Um, and actually, I think the one thing that kind of brought me a little bit on the, on the wrong track was the fact that if you're talking about semen retention, it sounds like you're not doing something. But the thing is, it's actually to do something different rather than not doing something. And um, by just not ejaculating, uh, but not doing anything else, um, it's very easy for the energy to get stuck and to kind of get irritated. And I think um, that's the association that a lot of guys have when you tell them, just don't ejaculate, right? Uh, Because I had that in the beginning and a lot of people that I was talking to about this, they are like, what, why why shouldn't you, this is a natural impulse, why shouldn't you ejaculate? And, And so I think, what is your take on this? Like, the, the essence of the whole thing, what is the essence? It's not doing not, uh, it's not, not doing something, it's doing something else. What is the something else that you're actually trying to achieve? Yes, that's a great point you're bringing up. This is the whole thing about suppressing versus redirecting. You know, again, my mm-hmm. approach is not just stop ejaculation and that's it. Uh, it's, it's a bit more than that. So because this sexual energy, it's, it's a, it's immensely powerful. When you stop ejaculating, it's like, it's kind of like you're, you're putting a dam in a river and this energy starts to build up. Well, you need another pathway for it to flow in or else it's just going to break through. And, you know, Mm -hmm. a lot of guys, you know, the no fap scene is becoming very popular, Mm -hmm. but a lot of guys doing this again, they're just 
stopping ejaculating. That's it. They're yeah. not really creating new patterns to express that sexual energy. And, and they find themselves feeling frustrated. Uh, they have blue balls, you know, discomfort. And it, it can make premature ejaculation worse, of course, because you're you're, yeah. you're basically a loaded gun, right? Just ready to blow. Yeah. So this is my whole approach to this. Um, you know, my training was at the same time, or, or, or even before you begin semen retention, you start doing these internal practices where you open up pathways in the body. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese medicine works with these uh, acupuncture meridians, which are basically these like rivers in the body that your energy, your chi is flowing through, right? Mm -hmm. So the main one we work with in sexual kung fu is the microcosmic orbit. So you open up this pathway up the back of the body and mm -hmm. down the front. So now you have a new path to express your sexual energy in. Most men only express their sexual energy is flowing out of their genitals. So if mm -hmm. you're going to hold on to this energy, you, you need to move it somewhere. You need to keep it circulating or else exactly. yeah, you will have stagnant. So uh, the, the practices involve learning to bring this energy upwards, circulate it around the body. So, so this energy, it moves, it transforms and also reaches a sense of completion instead of just uh, staying stuck in your genitals. So in mm -hmm. my opinion, if you're going to try semen retention, it's really important that you do the deeper work to uh, directly work with that sexual energy and circulate it throughout your body. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so... Yeah, so to me, this, those are like kind of like two words. One is the semen retention, the other is the sexual energy cultivation. And um, so if someone's never heard about sexual energy cultivation, um, where, sh where should he start? Like what, what's, uh, what are good ideas to where to start on this whole journey? Because some people might listen to this and like, well, I kind of relate to that because I had the feeling that once uh, so I ejaculate, I feel a little bit loss of energy, but... I have no idea how to start and I just want to ejaculate. I don't want to, and so what, like what is, how can they start on this journey? That's a good question. And I think it's really about, again, it comes down to having some sort of practice to deepen your connection with your body, you know, your mind body connection and mm. kind of start to open up your body a bit. And that can be as simple as, you know, having a meditation practice. Uh, some of my favorite tools are Qigong practices. Qigong is mm. a, it's a Chinese system, basically a Chinese yogic system, right? Mm. And it uses slow, uh, movements, mindful movements, where you start to engage your energy body, you start to engage the flow of energy throughout your body. This mm. just d develops your sensitivity. You start to experience that chi flow in your body. And this translate ver translates very well to sexual experience. And, you know, it, it can be just as simple as changing yourself from being goal oriented during sex. Most men are only focused on, you know, getting to the point of ejaculation during sex and they kind of ignore mm. everything else on the way. So, yeah. So focus more on what's happening before then, right? So, and you can do this by focusing on your breath. You know, do breathing mm. exercises. Breathe deeply into the belly. You know, when, you, when you're being sexually stimulated, whether you're by yourself or with a partner, see if you can slow down a bit. Really be mindful of the sensations that you're feeling. And again, mm. focus on your breathing. Deepen the breath. Relax your body. And see if you can kind of use your mind to expand those, uh, uh, those pleasurable feelings throughout your body. So now you start to get your whole body involved in that. And even mm -hmm. just by doing that in the beginning, uh, you've, you've at least started to kind of get your whole body involved in the sexual process. So if you do ejaculate mm -hmm. after that, it's not as much of a loss because you've actually started to get some of this energy uh, into your body. Mm -hmm. but, it, mm -hmm. but it is nice to have, you know, if you're really serious about the stuff, having like a structured training system to follow, you know, and of course I offer yeah. that in sexual kung fu, but there's a lot of, you know, other systems as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I've experienced as well. Like um, just just reading about it, um, it makes it really hard to really get into, like get the essence of it, especially because reading is kind of like a mind process and sexual energy is a feeling process. Mm. It's like you have to start feeling and experiencing rather than thinking and trying to understand. Definitely. Um, it's easy to over these things. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was guilty of this for a long time. Um, so yeah that's really it's, it's really awesome um and so when someone goes on this journey you talk a lot about because basically people when you tell them about semen retention they um and basically not ejaculating they feel like okay now i don't have any orgasms anymore uh, is that true what's actually happening when you don't ejaculate what can you do then yeah, good question. So this comes to the whole thing of, of ejaculation and orgasm are actually two separate processes. And this is a large mm -hmm. part of the sexual kung fu work is being able to separate these two. Uh, but it's also important to understand that uh, there's different types of orgasms. 
So mm. mo- the the ejaculatory orgasm, it's a peak orgasm. It has this. It's yeah. a very short lived experience, right? But it's it's very obvious. It's very apparent. You know, it's like oh, mm. it's beginning. You know, I'm having these spasms in my prostate, these sensations, but it lasts about what five to ten seconds. So it's yeah. like it begins sharply. You're in it for a little bit, then it's over. But this is a release of energy. You know, that intensity is your it's your life force leaving your body. So mm. being able to open to new types of orgasm, and again, this comes down to changing your relationship and being more sensitive right so Mm -hmm. a lot of what we're experiencing you know i I teach these methods of having internal kind of more energetic orgasms and they're Mm -hmm. called valley orgasms and so it's more of a state that you're in um where it and and i think first of all if you kind of redefine your definition of orgasm instead of you know limiting yourself to oh an orgasm is only when i have this you know incredibly intense pulsation in my genitals and semen shooting out if you mm-hmm. redefine orgasm as simply being a very kind of a pleasurable wave of sensation that's a bit beyond what you ordinarily experience, then it kind of liber- it liberates you. And now you can start to focus on that sort of sensation and expand mm-hmm. it. And, uh, and when you're doing this internal work, you know, opening up the body, uh, working with meditation practices, really developing your sensitivity, then you really start to open yourself up to a, a different type of orgasm, a more, again, a full body orgasm. And it doesn't end by releasing your energy. That's I think that's another trap for men is like the ejaculatory orgasm. It's it's a release. So at the end of it, you have no more sexual desire. So it gives you this sense of completion and gratification. But yeah. that's not the case with these internal orgasms. It can last as long as you want. So you kind of have to be able to uh, uh, be okay with with holding a certain amount of desire, you know, and arousal in the body. I guess. Yeah. 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 So basically, um, the experience will be different, right? So uh, it's like, and I think that's I think that's the hard part to understand if if someone doesn't doesn't know um, that there's something else. And I think uh, at least for me, and I think for a lot of people, it it really starts with only just basically starting to feel what even is actually going on when you're approaching orgasm, when you're actually what, what is actually sexual energy, what do, how does it feel like? Because um, today's world like especially porn and so on it's a lot about the mechanics it's like how do you do like which position and how fast and so on and where to touch and so on but it's not really about how going really deep into experiencing and feeling what's actually going on because what the the actual physical touch isn't even what you really what you really experiencing uh, or kind of like enjoying the most necessarily it's kind of like the sensation that are produced that kind of do some basically move you inside um and so yeah and so basically what's because i i believe there's some guys that would listen to that and they were like okay i never i never feel like i'm losing energy after ejaculating so what do you what do you what do you say about that is that true or what's going on there and uh, or there may be some people that are not for this or um what's going on there yeah so well first of all everyone has you know their own path to follow not everyone's going to going to want to, not everyone's going to choose to take this lifestyle because you know it's a bit yeah. it's a bit esoteric it's a bit different and you're really going against the grain and uh, reprogramming a lot of your conditioning you've had to mm. do this so it's not for everyone but it is a very kind of elevated path for sure that has a lot of potential to it and as far as you know you were asking about some men saying well I don't feel depleted after ejaculation I think a lot of this is that you get. It, this is their only reference point is, is frequent ejaculation. They have no other reference point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just normal to them. So if they will, no, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm fine. And here's the thing is once you do go, you know, you go a week without ejaculating, then it's like, wow, like now, okay, I, I, I understand now this is a whole different realm of experience. You know, once mm. you have sex without ejaculating and feel that charge, then, you know, that's, that's kind of my challenge to men is just try it, you know, go, go a week without ejaculating and then see if you feel any different. Right. Yeah. And, and, and also, it's, I think it's important to understand that, you know, I'm not saying you should, again, I'm not saying you should never ejaculate again. You know, it can be beneficial for you to have an ejaculatory orgasm here and there. And again, when you're when you're using the sexual kung fu exercises, of, of which involve drawing the sexual energy throughout the body, you're able to kind of harvest some of that energy and pull it out of the semen so that if, when you do ejaculate, you don't lose as much energy. So, mm-hmm. um, so it allows you to be a little more intentional about if you want to ejaculate at certain intervals, which makes it a little bit more special. You'll enjoy it more. And then you're able to enjoy a lot of sex uh, without ejaculating in the meantime, really nourishing yourself with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think a lot of this is as well to just get more into actually feeling and experiencing because we are so used to not doing that that we might have the conclusion that yes, we are not losing energy while if we were feeling there was something going on, but we didn't feel it. Um, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious now a bit more about basically the nature of sexual energy because in, um, in Chinese systems, there are different kinds of energy, right? And you were saying that when you cultivate energy, you have much more, en cultivate sexual energy, you have much more energy, you feel much more kind of alive. Um, what is the nature of this energy and how can you use that for your life? What's going on if you, uh, if you cultivate this energy? Where can you put it into? Or how, um, what, what is that energy? Because a lot of people don't, don't really know what that even is, what it even is. Yeah, so sexual energy, is, it's one of the most, you know, powerful forces that we experience as humans. I mean, this is a force that's driving a lot of people's lives, whether or not they're aware of it. You know, it's driving you to, to, to you know, try to attract the opposite sex, it's driving yourself to make money, to have a career so you can mm. attract the opposite sex. You know what I mean? And it's very unconscious, often this drive, but it's very, very deep. You know, you can think about mm. what what has uh, your sexual desires driven you to do in your life, right? So this is a very, very deep and often very unconscious force. So when we look at the properties of sexual energy, yeah, as you were saying that in the Chinese system, there's different types of qi, different types of energy, different mm -hmm. qualities. And sexual energy, you know, it's known as jing qi. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the essence of the, uh, the, the, the sexual fluids, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you look at sexual energy, it has some special properties. One is that it, it's, it causes things to grow, to amplify, to expand. You know, it's mm -hmm. like your sperm, right? Uh, a single sperm, well, actually a few sperm, they, they penetrate the egg and uh, that grows. It multiplies trillions of times to form a human body, one single sperm. And so there's like 275 million sperm in a single ejaculation. So when you think about the psychic potential, the energetic potential of that, it's enormous, right? So this is yeah. the power of the sexual energy. It's, it's just sitting there in your balls, you know, ready, ready for you to cultivate. Yeah. So this power of expansion, you know, it's the power to birth. That's what's creating things. Everything's being created by sexual energy. Our mm. bodies are a sexual process. Our cells are reproducing. They're they're having sex and, and reproducing. So it's literally the sex of our cells that's keeping us alive, right? Mm. So it, this is the, the sexual force that's driving things. And it also, sexual energy bonds things together. You know, it's like a psychic mm -hmm. super glue. You know, when you're in a long-term relationship with someone and then you break up, do you just easily kind of go on with your life like, well, no big deal. You know, often you still feel very connected to that person. You still, you know, you feel that connection to them. It's not easy to break because you've mm. glued yourself to them, right? And you glue, sexual energy glues you to thoughts, to feelings, to actions, you know? So mm -hmm. um, your sexual habits become very, very ingrained again because of that, that kind of sticky quality of the sexual mm -hmm. energy. So this can, so all these qualities of sexual energy, the amplification, the bonding, these can either be positive or negative, you know? Unfortunately, for most people, they're they're bonding themselves to unconscious patterns, you know, bonding themselves to anger, to maybe abusive relationships, uh, bonding themselves to porn, you know, and also amplifying these patterns with that, right? Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, once you be, become conscious of this, this is really what the magic of working with sexual energy is about, is you start to consciously work with your sexual energy and put it into uh, positive things in your life. And you start to bond yourself to to self-growth right bond yourself mm -hmm. to uh spiritual uh fulfillment uh bond, your, bond yourself to abundance you know success mm -hmm. in your career and amplify these things right so this is what happens when you start cultivating your sexual energies you're able to basically just you become more of who you are and whatever you put it into just expands mm -hmm. nice and so the actual the sexual energy um it actually always is there, right? So basically, if you use it consciously or subconsciously, basically, if you use it consciously or if it is just in your body driving you to do things, it's always going to have an effect on your life, right? So Definitely, basically, yes. masturbating a lot to porn or all, all, all the things we're doing, maybe obsessively, a lot of those things are actually motivated by sexual energy. And um, just cultivating it, like basically cultivating a conscious relationship to it gives us much more um, the ability to direct this energy, right? Exactly, exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and co coming to this essence of sexual energy, uh, I would like to talk to you and ask you about what about sexual energy with women. So what is going on with women? Do they also have a pendant, like something similar to this, 
for women, like they don't have semen, but what's going on with women in terms of sexual, sexual energy? So as men lose their, their gene, their vital essence through ejaculation, women lose it through menstruation. So for women, it's, mm. it's actually blood retention, right? So women oh, are kind of fortunate okay. that they can pretty much have unlimited orgasms without, you know, necessarily being depleted in the way that men are. But it's mm. that menstrual cycle that can potentially kind of deplete them, right? So mm. for women, the menstrual cycle is, it's kind of a psychic cleansing, you know, because women tend to store their uh, negative emotions, traumas. Uh, in their womb space. So there's, mm. so there's often a lot of unconscious patterns stored here. And, and during the menstrual cycle, the body's using its own energy. It's using that, that kind of water element, you know, the blood to, to mm. cleanse these things out. So if there's a lot of, you know, stuff stuck in there, then it takes a lot of energy for the body to clear these things out. And this is why some women have very, you know, uncomfortable, painful uh, menstrual cycles, right? So mm -hmm. the sexual Kung Fu practices for women involve Basically having tools to clear yourself of traumas, negative emotions, uh, doing that consciously, right, in your own practice so that the body doesn't have to use all these resources to create these things. So when women begin these practices, uh, they often experience much less severe uh, period cycles. Uh, it's, it's actually possible for women to completely stop their menstrual cycles, but, you know, there's mm -hmm. some debate whether or not that's actually healthy, but that is a potential. Also, uh, you know, just a share a practice for women breast massage is very important because mm -hmm. the the breast that helps regulate the hormones and kind of balance the system out so that's some of the practices for women uh mm -hmm. yeah, that's what they involve and actually also talking about breasts uh, also for the man like uh the there is a connection between the nipples and the prostate right mm -hmm. so even for men that that's an interesting practice to see if we can activate this sexual energy yeah, yeah, that could be helpful for men. Again, most men are completely, kind of complete, t men can tend to be completely in their heads and yeah. in their genitals. That's like a man's experience of his body typically. So getting more of your body kind of awakened and evolved is going to be very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, what I would like to talk about now is basically if a man and a woman, they both cultivate their sexual energy, um, how can sex look like or how can... Uh, sex evolve through doing those practices being more aware of sexual energy and and what's going on in terms yeah of so this is this is where it gets really beautiful you know when you're consciously cultivating your sexual energy and your partner is as well uh, mm -hmm. then you start to have you know a much more evolved multi-dimensional experience of sex you know it's not just mm -hmm. physically thrusting into each other trying to get your own orgasm not that there's anything wrong with that but it's just a bit limited you know mm -hmm. so part of the you know the sexual kung fu uh, practices involve consciously moving the sexual energy through your body, right? So it builds mm -hmm. up in the genitals, you kind of build that sexual charge there, but then you move it throughout the body. You know, you can move it to your brain, enhancing your thinking, your creativity, bring it to the heart, expanding your sense of love and connection. And so when you're with the partner, you can start to circulate this energy together. So you, uh, because your bodies are physically connected, so your mm -hmm. energy channels get connected as well. So you can consciously circulate this energy between you. And, uh, you know, a, a approach I like to take is basically you have like an active lovemaking uh, session, you know, where you're kind of building, building that charge, building the passion, building the arousal. And then once that reach, reaches kind of a high point, you stop and you just kind of lay passively together and just kind of meditate together and just mm -hmm. feel the, the circulation between you. So it's kind of a passive period. And, uh, and after a, a period of doing that, you can go back to active lo lovemaking. So kind of alternating between active and passive lovemaking. And you can mm -hmm. also use this for healing. So, you know, if you have pain in your body, you have, you know, some something going on in your body or your partner as well, then you can both, you know, after you generate some some sexual energy with lovemaking, you can consciously bring that energy to that area of the body and mm -hmm. uh, and help them to heal. So it's it's very, very beautiful doing these practices with a partner. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um there's one thing that will generally just like to kind of like finish off on this uh, i think everyone kind of brings a special something into the world that is kind of unique and with me it's like my channel i talk a lot about authenticity being connected to the truth uh, inside and really understanding what's at the core what i want to do what i don't want to do and i think everyone has kind of this unique gift that it brings to the world and so I would like to ask you, what do you think is your gift? What do you bring to the world? What is a unique thing that you're really good at or that you're really passionate about that you bring into the world? Well, there's definitely a lot of things I'm passionate about, but I think in the context of, you know, my teaching and sharing this information, I think it's really my desire to kind of uh, demystify in a way some of these practices 
uh, and kind of take away yeah. some of the like the the uh, the baggage and kind of dogmatic, uh, just the dog dogma and burdens that are sometimes put on these things. You know, sometimes these practices are over mm. mystified. They're overly like woo woo. You know what I mean? So it's like just seeing that, you know, this doesn't ne this necessarily have to be like a religious path where you're praying to some deity. And, you know, I mean, having said yeah. that, I'm a very spiritual person, but I just think that people tend to like over, over mystify things and, uh, and even have like a lot of ego involved in it. So it's just like, like, hey, this is this is just, you know, part of the human experience and it can be very grounded. So I guess I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but just being very practical and, and grounded of these things, just seeing that they're just inner technologies. It's all it is. It's a it's a it's a forgotten science that's reemerging yeah. back into the world. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. I love it, especially because in today's uh, world, there are kind of like um, the, the people that are somehow divided into like people that kind of generally think like this is weird. Let's not look at this. It's kind of weird, and and the other ones that are like, wow, let's let's talk about it. Let's talk. They're kind of really open to it. But actually, the, you can bridge the gap very easily if you understand that it's not some kind of woo woo crazy shit. It's something that you can actually experience in your body, and it's something that's really tangible uh, once you allow it to to kind of or once you allow yourself to experience it really and, and feel it. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so I would like you to talk a little bit about what are the programs that you're doing um, to help men and maybe also women to cultivate their sexual energy, to do semen retention and to use that sexual energy to create what they want in their life. Yeah, so the main program I'm offering is my, it's a six week course called Multi-Orgasmic Man. Uh, mm -hmm. has all the foundations that you need to, you know, safely work with sexual energy, you know, clearing old patterns, uh, opening up the energy channels of the body, grounding your energy, and then, of course, directly working with the sexual energy to circulate it and have non-ejaculatory full body orgasms. I also have a course for women I created uh, with my partner. It's called Multi-Orgasmic Goddess. And uh, uh, so, yeah, those are the main programs I'm offering on my website. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I also did your six weeks course and it was really transformational. It was like, it was like, I think the first course that I really did where I thought I was kind of going through the full process of what's involved to understand uh, the whole uh, essence behind it. And so it was very transformational. And um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's really, yeah. really great course. Glad you enjoyed um, it. Yeah, so I thank you very much for, um, for sharing all of this with, with us and uh, for having you on this channel. And so if anyone wants to sign up for your course or is interested in more information, how can, I, how can they find you? Yeah, so you can find me on, uh, I'm on social media, I'm on YouTube and Instagram, just look for Sexual Kung Fu. My mm -hmm. website's jonathanwhitelifestyle.com. Yeah, awesome. I will link it also in the video description so you can, uh, so you can check it out. So thanks so much for having, uh, I thanks so much for basically being on my channel, talking about all of this stuff to us and really give uh, people the opportunity to understand what's actually happening when they're ejaculating when they're not ejaculating what is sexual energy and so on so thank you very much thanks for having me jonas it's a pleasure awesome man hey guys so if you want to learn more about jonathan white's products and his teachings uh, i've got some links down in the video and um, he's got a very powerful course called the multi-orgasmic man it's a six-week course and I did this course as well. It's really amazing. And what I've got from it is really like much deeper understanding and experience of what it feels like to actually cultivate sexual energy. Uh, what can I do with all this energy that I don't ejaculate, that I really that stays in my body? How can I transform this energy and be more balanced? Because if you don't really work with this energy, you can get stuck and you can get energy agitated. It really tells you how to like ground this energy and how to put this energy into something in your life not just have it be in your body but also put it into the projects in your life and also he talks about whole body orgasms um, how to basically plow this with your partner and have kind of like this evolved sex it's really a powerful course so if you want to learn more about it click the link below um, there's an affiliate link as well where i might earn some commission um, if you have any questions really ask me i really enjoyed the course Check out uh, Jonathan White's channel. Uh, he's got a channel called Sexual Kung Fu, um, where he talks a lot about all this stuff and you really can check him out and you get a lot of value from that. And also check him out on Instagram and Facebook. I will give you the links there. And so, yeah, that's all. Uh, enjoy and have a great day.